Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. So today is the announcement and introduction of the new Ruby 10. Uh, many of you know the Ruby line of products. They're a great line. You've got the, Ru the classic Ruby, the Ruby HD, the Ruby XLHD, the Ruby 7. Uh, and those of you out there that know them know that they are just wonderful products. If you don't know what the Ruby is, you'll learn about the Ruby 10 today, but reach out to us to learn more about the other line of Ruby products as well. So this slide um, visually, you know, might be overwhelming, but it's got a lot of great information. And as Michelle said, if you're uh, using this for training, this is a super helpful guide and this is a great slide to go back to. So I'm just gonna start on the uh, top left uh, and then move my way around uh, from going down the bottom and up to the right-hand side. So the top left button is your contrast button. So you can do a short press of that, and that's gonna rotate you through the different color combination contrasts that you have. Many of you out there are familiar with this. Of course, you're gonna go between you know, your true color, maybe your white on black, black on white, yellow on black, you name it. If you do a long press, uh, it'll actually bring you right back to your live color mode. Next button down from there. Uh, and these are, again, this is one of the nice, nice things with the Ruby 10, is everyone loves the Ruby because it has these tactile buttons around it, right? But this is also touchscreen. So you still have the touchscreen capability with this, but you also have these tactile buttons. Uh, so the next button down on the left is a gray button with uh, what looks kind of like almost an equal sign or lines of text. If you're in live view, that's gonna to toggle you through giving you a guideline uh, in your masking functionality. If you tap that in the document view, it's gonna to toggle you through the different reading uh, views. So whether you wanna do kind of a teleprompter, uh, the zone mode, which you'll get to see later on live if you scan in a document, a ticker tape, or the live image the way that it is. Below that is your camera button that's red and it has a little image of a camera on it. If you do a short press or kind of a quick press, it's gonna capture an image for you. If you hold it for a couple of seconds, uh, that's considered the longer press, that'll actually capture, scan, and read right away. So it cuts out those extra steps of having to then ask it to read to you. Uh, so you've got multiple functionality within that button. Very bottom there is just an arrow pointed up to the screen to let you know that it is a touch screen. So you can pinch and zoom as you do on a lot of your smart devices uh, to zoom in and out. Moving around to the right-hand side, starting from the bottom, uh, going up to the top, the bottom button on the right-hand side is your magnification decrease or you know, minus button. So that's gonna decrease your magnification. Above that is your increased magnification, the plus button. And you can tap those once to do kind of a, um, Incre you know, increment, incremental zoom. Is that even a word? <laughs> yes, good job, Mike. All right, um, tongue twister today. I'm, I'm all tongue twisted. Uh, so you can do incremental zooming if you just tap it, or you can actually press and hold to do a continuous zoom. Uh, and then above that is kind of the, uh, you know, get out of jail free or pass go and, and win the money prize. It's the little green button and it's got a picture of a house on it. And that will bring you back to a live view from anything. So if you're into some other view or you know contrast modes, just touch that, and that brings you back to your live view. Um, with yeah, we call that the oops button. So if you're like, I don't know where I am, press that, and you're going to get back to live mode. Yes, start over. <laughs> <laughs> so that are, uh, and then at the very top, I should say. So at the very top you'll notice on the, towards the left-hand side, there's a red little bar. That's actually the fold-out camera arm. So that there, you can actually pull up on that and you'll see this later in some slides. You pull that out to get your full page camera mode. Yep, Mike, and you did a, a great job of showing how to, you know, that's where you kind of pull that camera out. And this slide right here shows Ruby 10's reading flexibility, which we're, we're all familiar with you know, placing a magnifier on top of some materials. And we have an integrated reading stand uh, to the Ruby 10. So on the left, we're showing a picture of the Ruby 10 on top of a photograph. 
And then to the right, we're showing that camera arm in its open position and the gentleman has a document underneath it. And so he's using that camera arm to magnify. So one thing with this is you've got a couple different, you know, menu options so you can customize this. And I think this is really important for those of us that are out there. So another thing I do want to give a shout out to, we have a lot of, uh, of our resellers and dealer channel partners on the webinar today. Shout out to all of you as the, um, you know, the first and front people that get to meet all these customers. So for you, um, or for those of you out there that are meeting with consumers, you can customize this. And I think this is nice because if you're working with a senior, sometimes you want to keep it as simple as possible. And if you um, are maybe working with a more tech savvy individual, you know, I'm working with students a lot of the times who could run circles around me with technology. So you have the advanced mode. And so on the left-hand side, we have a, a view of what the Ruby looks like in the uh, default mode and on the right-hand side, the advanced mode. And you'll notice it just adds a couple extra menu options on there. In the default mode, you've got a couple different things here. You've got uh, the settings button. So that looks kind of like a cog works, uh, you know, so that's gonna bring you into your settings. The next button to the right, so going across the top three, uh, and then there's six icons on the screen, I should say, to begin with. So the top three are settings. Next one to the right is your default and advanced toggle. That's kind of the graduation cap. So if you feel as though you have earned the rights to get onto that advanced mode, toggle between uh, using that button there. Next button is your information. It's just an I. Below that is your Bluetooth. Then next to that to the right is your visual properties. And next to that is your volume and rate of speech control. So those are the main menu options under the default mode. So now if you uh, feel that you're ready to move on to advanced, uh, what you then get from the advanced mode is, so those three buttons basically, or six buttons, excuse me, shift over to the right. And now what we add into the left are manage documents and image files. This does have built-in memory. So if you scan documents or you wanna upload documents to this, uh, which you can do using the USB-C port that we mentioned earlier, uh, so you can take files from your computer and import them into this, or you can export from the Ruby 10 to a computer or to a thumb drive. Uh, that's where you would do that using the manage document and image files. Below that is Miracast. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with a lot of our other products, Miracast is really kind of a, a newer feature. It's really cool as far as it allows you to basically mirror image or cast what you're seeing on that Ruby screen to a smart device uh, such as your you know, smart TV that has Miracast built into it. So you can really uh, project what you see on the Ruby screen to that larger monitor. Uh, so those are the added tools with the advanced mode. Freedom Scientific, a Vespero brand. To stay up to date on upcoming webinars and training events, complete the sign up form at freedomscientific.com forward slash webinars. Thanks again for connecting with us.